and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some boats and trolls. It's going to be our last meme tier deck today. We got a cool one here. We are playing a bunch of trolls, troll chant, troll scavenger, that kind of stuff, and some ships. We got some boats. You know, Jaw Hunters has a boat. Hunting Fleet is going to be our main boat. Um, basically, and then, you know, we got some trolls. We got the Tusk Raider as another boat here to be able to go grab Sejuani. Uh, so basically, uh, Hunting Fleet, you know, is a, is a four mana 6-6. Six, six, so that's huge. That's just absolutely amazing. They get the Golden Narwhal. Even if you kill the Golden, even if you just go challenge the Golden Narwhal right away, it's still a 6-4 for four pretty awesome but we're going to be pairing that with auger of the old ones that can give it overwhelm and regeneration so now we're talking now if hunting fleet has overwhelm and regeneration now that sounds super strong so that's kind of like where the the deck kind of came from and just added in a bunch more troll cards and a bunch more boats we have riptide rex and tusk raider that both want plunder which hopefully we can get there with like overwhelm and stuff like that but if not, we also have Jack the Winner, another good card to give Overwhelm and Regeneration to for sure. They can create some Sleep with the Fishes. If you have Regeneration, Sleep with the Fishes is just free to Nexus damage. And that's going to turn on our Plunder for our Tusk Raider and our Riptide Rex. So we have seven eight mana cards in here between Icequake, Riptide Rex, Tusk Raider, Uzgar. So seven eight drops. Hopefully that helps turn on our Troll Scavenger being a 4-3. And our Troll Ravager having Regeneration um pretty uh you know pretty soon um but that's that's our deck all right boats and trolls okay here we go we're gonna go play over in normal it's meme tier monday so we're playing playing the games in normal with our uh boats and trolls Looks like a pretty good hand. We're playing Ezreal Twisted Fate. I'm not sure about Jaw Hunters. I like... Oh, I guess this is only going to be a 1-3. But I like how we can ramp and have Avalanche. Um, we'll get rid of Jaw Hunters. It doesn't work that great with Avalanche, but Jaw Hunters, again, like this deck does one damage to everything very easily. They're very good at dealing one damage. And I like Avalanche because this deck's plays a bunch of petty officers and can still go wide with smaller units like that. Troll scavenger. There's plenty of killing left. That was a good, good warning shot. Let's turn those into one mana three threes. Wow, that's a good turn for them. So I can either play the Hunting Fleet or Jack the Winner. I think I'm just going to play Jack the Winner. Maybe I should have played Hunting Fleet because of Troll Chant. I like taking adv advantage of this extra mana from the Weirding Stones. Yeah, you don't want to cross me. So they have two of my cards right now. Three of my cards. Never mind. Two from Pilfer Goods, one from Your World Grifter. They have three of my cards. So I want to play Troll Chant, so we can play either Ravager or Hunting Fleet ourselves. Let's not play Hunting Fleet whenever they're about to attack. Honestly, maybe I think I'll just let that happen. Maybe it's just not even worth trying to save that. We'll just keep our mana. Lock the doors. I'll find that narwhal yet. 
two decks that we did the best with, check those out over there, were Gangplank Nightfall and Darius Thresh. I would recommend either one of those, like both of those for ranking up. I think those are both really good decks. Man, they took my combo. Augur the Old One's Hunting Fleet. They just took my combo. That's so mean. What's that you got there? Who does that? Who just takes somebody else's combo? No. Being all rude like that. Okay, so we're going to have, it's going to be slow, but we're going to try, you know, sleep with the fishes next turn and then Riptide Rex. It'll be slow, but we'll have that together. These old eyes still see far and clear. We're doing a good job of leveling up Sejuani too. I'm gonna block with this thing. I don't want to have their plunder turned on that easily. Oh, okay, cool. Awesome, John White, thanks. But yeah, that's. Those are the two that I recommend for ranking up decks. Both of those are good. So Gangplank Nightfall and Darius Thresh. We have a lot of power out here. Still there, 6-6 six, six can block one thing. Okay, so they can only block one thing. Hoping to finish it out with the other two. If they... As I say, the best case scenario for them, they block this thing, and then... Harvey. Oh. And then they have something that kills the 6-3. But of course, we have our own Riptide Rex. Yeah, I'm sorry. Harvey's kind of scary. Yeah, so they're down to two. This is a good deck here. Twisted Fate, Ezreal. And they had a pretty good hand. And our Boats and Trolls is still going to win. Boats and Trolls. <laughs> they were both great. Jack was awesome for us. Those Sleep with the Fishes. Yeah. All right, Jack the Winner did so much work. Okay, Sejuani Gangplank. So they're like the streamlined version of our deck. Um, we'll keep this, sure. We'll have turn three Avalanche, turn four Hunting Fleet, turn five Jack or Trundle, turn six the other one. Lucky you, I'm the last thing you'll see. I like seeing that. Keep playing more things that die to Avalanche, please. Open wide, sugar. Something else that dies to Avalanche. Alright, well, we'll take down one powder monkey, I guess. Gonna go the Jaw Hunters. Yeah, 
And we could Ice Quake, but I'm going to wait. Maybe I should just be playing the Hunting Fleet here and, and challenge the Elusive. I want to set up a nice Ice Quake. Give Jack Overwhelm Regeneration with Augur. Bow to no one. If I basically if I play the Augur of the old ones, they just have to attack like this. And they can kill Jack. But if I go Ice Quake, then they would have to have warning shot. So only Warning Shot kills Jack now, or Parlay, or Make a Rain, you know, all, all that kind of stuff. Spells that deal damage. Born for conquest. What's your wager? I promised a bloodbath. I just kind of assumed we had more 8-mana spells in here. I didn't really double-check. Dang. We have all this expensive stuff. Get them all. None of these are 8-damage spells. Leave no survivors. Show them our teeth. That was a Sejuani's Fury of the North. Success. Get you noticed around here. All right, good old regeneration. Hey, Kapata. The door. Just play this Tusk Raider and go grab a big Sejuani. I can't kill Sejuani. Sejuani's gonna be leveled up, and then whenever higher gun strikes, then my stuff will get frostbitten. The <clears throat> like if if my five one blocks Sejuani, it just dies. I don't know. They could have Rex. I mean, if they have Rex, we lose. Can't do anything about that. GG's, Sejuani's still strong. I, I guess I shouldn't have Avalanche when I did, but I was just going to waste a bunch of mana. But I guess I shouldn't have, because then they, had, they did have the Petty Officer for the next turn. And that hurt. Mulligan the 6-mana card, but I definitely like these. Yeah, good. Got an Aatrox for the Ravager for regeneration. Come closer. I don't bite. So they say every time. Still keep Elise alive. Of course, I want to do this first and then play Sentry afterwards. 
And then hopefully our large trolls get some work done. See the Debastian border from here. So hunting fleet would be a 6-4. Or tro troll ravager a 3-5 regeneration. I think the regeneration does sound pretty good, but actually, no, let's get the 6-4 in play because then we can give this overwhelm regeneration afterwards. I'm not going to have leveled up Elise, so I don't want to attack with my 2-1 into their 1-1, one, because one, I'm going to need my 2-1 to block the 3-2. If they would have, if that would have been like a spider, so Elise would be able to level up where they'd be able to challenge anyway, then we'd probably just attack with the Aphrosin Sentry. You won't suffer long. Try to keep Elise from leveling up. No escape this time. Look out for Reavers. We're at 7. They don't have seven Nexus damage. You know, I feel pretty good about our chances of blocking and everything like that. <clears throat> well, I'm glad they didn't make it, didn't make another copy of Doom Beast. Guessing they have a Noxian Fervor. Yeah, I know. You already told me. Braum and Lux. Let's start over. Okay. Not bad. Maybe we'll finally get the Hunting Fleet Augur of the Old Ones combo going. <laughs> so far, it's only been my opponent that's done the Hunting Fleet Augur of the Old Ones combo. Yep, we got a two lost deck. That's okay. Hopefully, we can win the last two. Still have a nice winning record with Boats and Trolls. I like having a two mana 4 3. It's pretty big. We played against two real good meta decks, and they were just a little bit better than our Boats and Trolls deck. Yeah. Monday so far. Good original decks, too, and it's been a lot of fun. I don't know if y'all be able to see this dog, but this dog is... <laughs> oh, I need to get out of the way. This is just... She's so comfy. Uh, let's see, they're about to attack. Sure. You're playing Poros, you can have this 2-3 and attack me with it. I, I'm worried that if I don't play the Hunting Fleet then they and I pass priority, that then they would just pass back. Oh, wow. They are so nice. They just didn't even attack with the Hunting Fleet. Very polite of them. Everywhere. Ah, across the way. This way. 
gone and spoke them. So forcing their hand a little bit more with that trade. That's a great trade for us. Alright, now plan is auger the old ones this turn, put it on the hunting fleet. I can say I've never said that before. Before today. I've never said boats and trolls before. They have a 3-3 three, three challenger. Not quite large enough. Carved from the savage cold. Hunting fleet's big. So we want to have the zero power go to the thing that does not have regeneration. So that these things don't get to block, get to block that. They're blocking things that have regeneration. All right, hunting fleet will not regenerate this turn. Don't have don't have plunder turned on for playing Tusk Raider. True, true. This is perma silence. That's a good. Good call. Good call. So we should probably grant it overwhelming regeneration. Such one. I refuse. All right, everything has overwhelm regeneration besides our ice pillar. Whoa. So I should just be going right to attacks, but how often do we get to play Uzgar the Ancient? The trolls are going to war. Win all. Leave my opponent liked it. Alright, this one's too spooky. And scary. Oh, I can challenge that one. Okay, there we go. Alright, GG's. Boats and trolls. Two and two. Fiora and Taric. They're gonna have a lot more spells. Try to be all crafty. We're just gonna smash with our trolls. And we're gonna get there on our boats. Keep it all. We need an A plus cost card for Augur. That shouldn't be that hard to find. <laughs> Whatever the journey brings, I welcome it. Okay, that's a good card to avalanche away. Always two steps ahead. We'll just do that right now before it pumps up the toughness of Fiora. And now we'll play Jaw Hunters. Could go Troll Ravager. Now Danger We gotta have our boats first. They gotta carry the trolls. Pass? Alright, sounds good. 
I attack, they just use like whatever spells. Save their thing. We're gonna keep it going, boat tribal. The <laughs> fast they even have screeching dragon attack. So now that dragon's a 5-6, that's going to be more problematic. Your move. So they're not saving Fiora. Better than but they are clearing my board. Five six is going to be more problematic. I bring clarity. Who's ready for a show? Dazzling. Come on, please don't have any pump. I just felt like that's better than just taking nine damage. Was hoping they didn't have any pump. See the Demastian border from here. Cool. You wanted wrath. So my plan was to go with Tusk Raider, but now we have Riptide Rex. Okay, well, we got a single combat out of their hand for that free Sleep with the Fishes spell. That's not bad. Um, double Troll Ravager, we'd be able to eat the 2-1, and we just have three blockers. No, it's Sejuani. Okay, so if we're going to play Sejuani... We're going to try to kill Sure, you're all shiny and majestic, but can you float? I could certainly try. We'll now mentor the stones with the four or five dragon. More problematic. pretty cool. Screeching Dragon with all this stuff. Screeching Dragon's really strong. So I'm hoping the Abyssal Eye hits them and that will turn on my plunder. Oh, come on, how do they keep on having some more of these? Stop. You gotta be out of those things, right? Out of single combats and concerted strikes. There's so many of those. All right, I should have led with Jaw Hunters to see what we got. Cause if I would, cause then I could have gone Jaw Hunters, then I could have gone Devour, eat the one one. Should have probably just gone with that. Does Troll Chant really do anything anywhere? Ready the torches. I think that answer is no. There you are. Yeah, this is a yeah, that's true. Sequencing is very important in in this game and and yeah, not not easy. 
not easy either. Me here and ready for fight. Huh. Now whole hunting party here. You just need to be playing Tusk Raider, drawing Sejuani. We'll see who feasts tonight. I got bigger stuff than I do. My trolls. We're never gonna have plunder turned on. It's too bad. That's a great trade. I guess it's good for them too, but getting the 11 7 challenger out of here. Uh, they are Fiora Taric with a bunch of dragons. And these Mentor the Stones have been awesome. They're pumping up the wrong thing. Like, Radiant Guardian doesn't matter. I don't know why they keep pumping that up. They need. They should be pumping up these Overwhelm things. Um, I'm probably... I mean, I'm going to be losing anyway, but they're... The Radiant Guardian doesn't matter. But, um... Uh, none of it really matters, though. I'm, I'm dead. Alright, G and G. Alright, so we are 2 and 3 with our Boats and Trolls. Couldn't just we just couldn't turn on plunder there that last game. They just put a little bit too much pressure on us. They killed my Jack the Winner. Um, I couldn't quite turn on stuff for Riptide Rex Tusk Raider. A couple of times that you know we maybe you know maybe would have been okay, but then just they had enough single combats and concerted strikes. Like each time that we tried, they had a single combat or concerted strike. They kept on having those. You know whether it was to stop my sleep with the fishes or to stop my elusive from hitting them, but. Uh, yeah, I do, Kordak. Um, but yeah, like, that's, yeah, so that's, that, as far as activating Plunder, that's how we're, we're either going with that or we're going with our Overwhelm, you know, just like our, our Overwhelm units and just attacking and stuff like that. But there we go, a good, this was a really good meme tier deck. This is what meme tier is all about, you just kind of do something a little silly, um, you know, with a whole bunch of trolls and some boats as well. Pretty cool, pretty cool deck here. All right, uh, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And, of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. I would really appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching, and I will see you for the next video.